In this screencast today, I'm going to walk through the steps to install an Open Nebula front end using Mini One, and then ultimately deploying a simple Edge Cloud. Okay, so I will start by downloading Mini One, which is Open Nebula's evaluation tool. From there, I'll install an Open Nebula front end, and then install a hypervisor using Packet Bare Metal Resource Provider. And then on that host, I'll finally run a virtual machine running Open Transport Tycoon a gaming server. Okay, so now we're going to make our way over to the GitHub page of Mini One, and we will look for the link of the latest release. So I'll copy that. All right, so here we have a dedicated server for the Open Nebula front end. Okay, it's got two cores four gigs of memory, and 30 gigs for the root file system. That should be more than enough. Now we will download MIDI 1. And check the parameters. So, MIDI 1 allows you to install the Open Nebula front end with KVM hypervisors, LexD containers, and this third option, which we'll be re reviewing today, it makes use of, of creating an edge deployment using packet bare metal resources. So we are interested in the parameters here. Mainly we need to pass the packet token and packet project name. We can leave the other parameters on the with the default values. So here we'll be installing the host in packets Amsterdam facility on a T1 small device, which is a small Atom server. Okay, so this is the command line. We've got the packet token, the packet project. And also, we'll choose the Open Transport Tycoon appliance to be pre prepared for the deployment from the marketplace. Okay, so let's start it. First, there are a few checks ensuring that all requirements are met. And now Mini One is installing the Open Nebula packages. Now, after the packages are installed, we'll see some config changes are being done. And now the front end should be already running. And here starts the one provision command which sets up the hypervisor on the packet resource. So now we can switch back to the browser here on packet, and we can see that the packet host is being installed. After a few minutes, the host is booted up, and now one provision is installing the Open Nebula node packages and configuring it to be used as an Open Nebula hypervisor. All right, so the, the installation is finished. Now we can take a look at what we got here. Using the one host list command, we can see that this packet host, which is being in initialized and shortly it should be monitored. Then we have the one template and the one image commands that show us that we have the template and image downloaded and ready. So 
So now let's log into the Open Nebula Sunstone front end. All right. Here we'll log into the host section, and there we can see the packet host. All right. And then we'll navigate to images. All right. And here we can see our images prepared as well. All right, so let's wait a little until the host is monitored. Okay, refresh. There we go. Okay. Now we can run the virtual machine by instantiating the template. And here we can see the virtual machine with Open Transport Tycoon. Let's see if we can see when it's running. Okay, good. Now we can see the VM is running. And now we can switch over to the game itself. And here we'll see if we can locate the server. Okay, and here it is. One Edge Open TDD Server, great. So there you have it. You see, we were able to use Mini One to install Open Nebula and to create an Edge Cloud using packet resources. Thanks for watching.